Hey, we're consumed by fire. I'm Caleb. I'm Jordan. I'm Josh. And we're with CCM Cafe today, and we're so excited about it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. We're three brothers. We're pastors' kids. We're from Oklahoma. We've been traveling and playing music, recording and writing for a while. And, uh, man, we're just so blessed for the season we're in with our new team at Red Street Records and uh, everybody over there, how they've just rallied behind our dreams and our visions and supported it. And yeah. it's just been a really great season. And so... Yeah, we're excited about all that God's going to do coming up after all this time on the road over these years. We, we've got more fire and passion than we've ever had. We just released uh, the First Things First EP, a collection of songs we're pumped about. Uh, we've been working over writing these songs through COVID the last couple years, and uh, we're just excited for, for the songs God's been given in this season. And I think some of these songs I feel like are – the kind of song that helps build faith. Yeah. And uh, I think we need those in the church, and we need those in this season to go, you know what, our prayers aren't hitting the ceiling with songs like It's a Yes. Yeah. Um, a song that goes, you know, the promises of God are yes and amen. Come on. And um, so, yeah, they, they're just all over the place. Songs bit. like Hope Says that brings just a yep. stirring of um, it's not over yet. It's not over with. God's still got a plan for no you. No matter how it looks. Yeah, no yeah. matter how it looks. He's still yeah. faithful. He's still doing it. Yeah, you know? and then obviously yeah. first things first is just that surrender of it all. It's like yeah. the gifts and callings of God are irrevocable. There's nothing I'd rather be doing than putting the kingdom first in yeah. front of everything, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's an EP just full of our hearts from the last few years of our lives. It's, uh, you honestly say all these collection of songs the last few years. You know, you say each record's sort of a chapter in your life, and that's never been more true for us with these yeah. new songs. I think with this single, First Things First, um, it's really special to us because it was a season where we we were pretty pretty hopeless, and there was a lot of disappointment, and we weren't sure if Consumed by Fire, if we were going to continue on for things that was going on in our family. And, and to, you know, to look back on when we first, name consumed by fire and it coming out of Jeremiah and, and Jeremiah being in a place of burnout and going, you know, when I say I'm done speaking your name, when I say I'm done, your, your, your name, it burns in my heart like a fire. I'm weary with holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. And I, I think that's been our story over, over these years and, and coming back. Uh, it's incredible to see what God's doing with First Things First. We're, we're experiencing new firsts after all of these yeah, years. That's true. And that's... Uh, Pretty cool. It is. I think this song, we've heard from a lot of pastors with this song about how it's inspired them. We, we, we do retreats with pastors, and yeah. we hang out. With Some of our closest friends are pastors. We're pastors' kids. Yeah. Um, we've heard, so we've naturally, I think organically, and then even beyond who we know, right. we've heard, received a lot of feedback from leadership and pastors that go, man, I needed this song. Um, I've been feeling the weight of just wanting to give up a lot of hopelessness, and that's very real. Pray for your pastors. Um, yeah. But I think the thing that we can all feel, pastor or not, is sometimes getting caught up in the numbers, sometimes getting caught up in what the world defines as success. And when our, when what we, th if we let the world define success for us, we can be wildly disappointed yeah. while actually still being in the will of God for our lives. And so they we we were reminded of a thing, that, a quote that our dad used to always tell us. He said, boys, for believers, success is being in the will of God. And so that's where this song really comes from, of repositioning uh, God just being in your will is success. A prayer of surrender. It's a yeah. prayer, yeah. 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 It's not that, you know, we've arrived and we're doing all the right things all the time. It's that, man, give us, just, just keep our, our focus where it needs to be, you know. Oh, you know, there's definitely joys in doing this, being three brothers. Together. Yeah. And there's definitely challenges. Uh, I think the joy is, um, you know, all the, all the places you get to go and experience. Yeah. Um, Together. The, yeah. mo the moments where it feels like, hey, this is, this is a mountaintop. Let's look around. We get to do this as a family. Yeah. The, the struggle is the day-to-day -day when you're worn out, you're tired, and you know that you're going to continuously humble one another. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's a lot of fun because it's, you know, don't you think? We have to remind ourselves grace thinking, give each other slack more often just because we've got such a history with each other. You got so life on each yeah. other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm on a, I, know, yeah. I know how no, to the ends yeah. 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 I think with coworkers, you kind of, you know, you have a little bit of a filter. <laughs> like if a coworker's not really you know, yeah. up to par that day, you can be like, hey, man, are you doing okay? Yeah. Like you can encourage them. With a brother, yeah. it's like, what's your deal, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like, well, you're gonna have to step up because you are you are really slack. It's like it's <laughs> just like that summer in '97. You know? Yeah, you, you, got, you got way too much. But history. love keeps no records of wrongs. That's, so that's right. really yeah. hard. Grace, yeah. grace thinking. We have a lot of it. Yeah. Oh yeah. man. So this EP that we just put out is just the beginning of a bunch of new music that's coming down the pipe, man. We we actually have a song we wrote for our dad that's giving tribute to him and his life. Um, it's coming out on the one-year anniversary of him actually going home to be with the Lord. And uh, we're really excited about that one. We, feel, we we tried to make a song that would not only lyrically pay tribute to his life and his ministry as not just a pastor of 35-plus years and a missionary and evangelist, all these different things, but as a husband and a father and um, and as a man. Like, he enjoyed all kinds of music. But the the, si- the sound of this song, when you hear it, you might go, Oh, wow, that's interesting. Well, it definitely, it feels like Dave Ward. It feels like our dad. And so we're very excited. It's our roots. Yeah. So he was a singer and a songwriter, and he wrote songs that had a lot of of these same feels and tones and sounds. We've got all kinds of new dates getting ready to come out. We're playing a lot of festivals this summer and uh, more fall announcements. And just always keep keep up with us on ConsumedByFire.com because there's a good chance we're coming pretty close to your hometown and we would love to meet you love to see you